Meow, 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 meow. Inside a church in the heart of Hillcrest. San Diego Gay Men's Chorus gathers yeah. on Mondays. And just release. Leading them in tonight's vocal warm-up is artistic director Dr. Charles Beal. Mm. Mm. Something happens when a bunch of people come together to sing that's kind of, you could call it transcendence. Like we all come together, our voices come together into one sound. Beal and the nonprofit's president of the board of directors, David Decker, are just two of the more than 100 active members of the chorus. We're a family. Uh, one of the things about queer people is sometimes we don't have our, our, our birth family uh, for whatever various reasons. So we have the concept of chosen family. And we come here and people really stay because they eventually find a home. And, and the other side of it is that we're a community, but also a community that sings really well and cares about singing. So, you know, we get to the moment of performance and then we turn from this community into a kind of highly professional, uh, hopefully quite slick uh, chorus with a dance team and choreographers and costumes and a whole nine yards of story to tell. The chorus puts on several major shows a year at the Balboa Theater downtown. Their next is in August, called Let's Get Loud, Singing for Change. There's so much going on in the political climate right now, and there's so much legislation, like thousands of pieces of legislation from the local level all the way up to the national level of our government that are against, you know, reproductive rights and um, gender affirming care and even just attacking the lives of queer people in general uh, to where it's like being able to exist without fear of losing your job. And so it's really important for us to stand up and make statements and say, we're here uh, to go to an old phrase, we're here, we're queer and we're not going anywhere. And I see art as well as being a way of saying we're here, as of, of also offering a really important communication tool and some joy. Entertainment with a purpose. It's something that's always been core to this organization that got its start nearly 40 years ago. I would say really over the past 40 years, we've gone from a small, wonderful organization to a large chorus that is musically active and works with other choruses in really promoting um, social justice and advocacy. Jesse Schiffman is the chorus's executive director. We really tell stories through our music. We tell stories about the LGBTQ plus community, about the struggles we go through, about our successes, and the beautiful common bonds that we all share. Members say what they do can absolutely be life-changing for some. I get those emails from parents saying, I now understand my teenagers situation much better because I've seen 150 people on stage just like them and I feel much more comfortable now and I you know almost every show the curtain goes down or we end the show and you turn around and there are new members just tears flowing down their face and we have many stories of them saying I didn't realize that you know I hadn't just joined a chorus but I joined a family and that family includes the audience what we do is we change hearts and minds through art Lindsay Pena ABC 10 News.